Hey guys, Punk Roberts here and welcome to our superior superset workout. I'm really excited today because I've got a great overall total body workout for you. So we are gonna be using the superset protocol, but this time we're gonna be using the antagonistic superset or opposing exercise, opposing body parts. So we're gonna be working on bison and tries, chest and back, uh, uh, quads and hamstrings, and of course, shoulders and traps. So in today's workout, we are gonna be doing each superset. We're gonna be doing two exercises within that superset for 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds rest, one after the other twice, and then we move on to the next superset. So we keep going, it's continuous, but we're gonna hit those two exercises two times, okay? Hopefully you've warmed up, make sure that you warm up, make sure that you watch the demo so you can see the exercises. I've got the timer. The first exercise is gonna be showed below. We're hitting chest and back, and uh, we're gonna start off in five, with wide chest press in five, four, three, two, one. Oop, here we go, all right. So this is actually my workout today, so we're, doing, we're working out together. First exercise, wide chest press. So pretend you, it's like when you used to get that bar, barbell, go wide. Good. Actually, I'm going a little bit too fast there. I just start, I started out the block way too fast. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Try to stay nice and wide. This would be probably the only time where you could Flare those elbows out. But that's because you're going straight up. Good. So we're doing a 20 second rest. Now we're doing pullovers. Okay, so now we got the back. Deep through your nose, out through your mouth. We're doing this twice. You can see, guys, I'm moving up in weight, eh? 40 pounds. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Until the second set comes. Get that oxygen in. All right, here we go. Classic pullovers. Be very careful here. All right. Down, exhale on the way up. So you're gonna try to stretch out. Good. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Try to get that stretch. You're gonna feel this in your lats. Good, pull. Just focus on the lats doing the work once you get that stretch. Try to go out, hold for a second. Exhale on the way up. Good. I'm using 40s here. <clears throat> Good work. Okay, rest for 20 seconds. Back to the chest. So eat, pullover is a tricky exercise because it's also a chest exercise as well. It's one of those, uh, you know, when you want some size in your chest, you can get nice heavy pullovers. Still hits the back, but uh, we're doubling up here. So, all right, here we go. Back to wide chest press. Yeah, see, this is where. Good, keep going. Ooh, shoulder. Oh, good. Oh, that's all chest there. Is that the beeper? No. Ah. Oh, there it is. Thank you, timer. Thank you, timer. All right. Back to pullovers. So again, we're really getting, oh, my shoulders. I really hurt my shoulder there. Um, okay, so let's go back to pullovers. Let's focus on your lats doing the work. I'm gonna have a slight bend. Just wanna protect my shoulder. Good. Remember, inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Good, hit the rest of the top. How do you make this exercise or work out harder? Always increase weight. Maybe go a little bit quicker. Good. Wow. Oh, Ooh. good work. I, I even felt that in my, tri, in my triceps too. So that's an indication that my tries really, my chest really uh, got fatigued there. Okay, we're gonna do meet the queens to one side, okay? So I'm gonna grab my 25s here. Actually, I'm gonna go with 20s. 
Meet the queens, one side. Here we go. So let's go to the, good. So just one side, because remember, we're gonna be doing this exercise again. Second round. So first time I do this, I'm being very careful, right? Whew. But I still gotta be focused. We're step back, step back lunge. Step back to the side. Don't go too low. Gotta have, make sure that you have a good range of motion. If you don't, if you're tight, like I may be a little bit here, I don't wanna go too far down. Push off with that back leg, keep that body tall. Good. Let's get on the ground and do some weighted glute bridge. So now we're hitting the, the posterior chain with that. So we're gonna hit the glutes and of course the hamstrings. So I'm, again, I got 20s here. You, this is an exercise you can go quite heavy with. But again, I just wanna protect my back. Good. Squeeze at the top. Make sure you're pointing those knees out when you do the glute bridge. A lot of times people cave in. You wanna squeeze out at the very top. Squeeze. Make sure those knees are pointed out. And really focus on the glutes. We gotta hit those glutes, man. Biggest muscle group in the body. Power, explosiveness, and our wives are gonna like the way our butt look, but the, our wives are gonna like the way our butt looks. But like, come on. Our glutes, not our booty. Okay, glutes, we're men. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do, meet the queens to the left side. Again, deep through your nose, out to your mouth. Here we go. Down, so here again, the first time I do it, I just slightly step back. Just so I can feel where my muscles are, where my body's at, my joints feel. And then as I keep going, with each rep, I can go deeper. But keep that body tall. Again, this is one of those movements, a lot of guys don't like this movement because it's awkward, right? We're stepping back and to the side. But it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a movement we have to master. We should be moving on all planes of motion. Oh, push off with that back leg, good work. Okay, standing bicep curls. We're gonna go back to the 40s here. Deep through your nose, out through your mouth. Whew. Good. So this is, these workouts are so deceptive, right? All right, here we go. Even though we're not jumping around, whoo. Good. Shoulders back. Squeeze your glutes. It protects your lower back. It gives you a pillar of strength. Good. I also fill up my diaphragm with air. Again, gives you a nice pillar of strength. Keep going. Ah, elbows tight to the body. All right, we're doing single kickbacks. So I'll start off with the left side. Oh, I'm feeling this, man, I'm feeling this. These workouts have been unbelievable for me. Incredible. We're gonna go with 15s on this tricep. Now, remember, my tricep was hurting a little bit. I think that's what I'm doing, yeah. Not hurting, sorry, it was sore, like right there. Already. <sighs> elbows tight to the body, remember. And with this exercise, you want your elbows high. Try to get those elbows higher than your shoulders. And I don't even know if mine are, but you're gonna feel it in the tricep way more. And then when you fatigue, you can let that elbow come down a little bit. Oof, ah, man, get some water. How you guys feeling? I know you're feeling good. All right, back to the bicep curls. So I'm gonna start with 40s, see how we do, and then 
run the rack if I have to. All right, here we go. So remember, opposing muscle groups, right? Squeeze those glutes. As soon as I squeeze my glutes, I get a little bit of power. Stability. Sends a message to the brain that you're okay. Yeah. Good, here we go. All right, I gotta drop it. I'm gonna go to 30s now. Oh, not enough time. All right, uh, I think I go with my right arm now. Man. Ooh. Get recovery. This is all about recovery right now. And then focusing on that next movement. Ooh. Turn on the clock here. Here we go. All right. Elbow high. See how high that elbow is? That's what you want it. Higher than your shoulder. So even if you have to come down a little bit, or if you have a chair or something you want to use, but keep the elbow tight to the body. Okay. The dumbbell should be coming right along the side of your body. Ah, slight squeeze at the top. Oh, try to get that elbow higher. Sometimes it'll sneak down, specifically when you're tired. Ooh. Oh man. Okay, what do we got next? Arnold shoulder press. So I'm gonna do a single Arnold shoulder press on one side just again because weak, weak shoulders and then we're gonna do sh shoulder shrugs. Shoulder press and shoulder shrugs. But you guys do regular sh Arnold press, okay? Regular, so I'm coming here, boom. Ah, different range of motion. Ah, I like to go light. Even, even if my shoulder was healthy, I'd probably still go light here because you don't want to injure your shoulder. Oh, that was actually, I felt that one. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter now to finish this movement off. And remember, we pre-exhausted our shoulders with the chest press, with pullovers, and even with the triceps. Oh man. And of course with our uh, biceps. So there's a lot of secondary muscle activation. Mm -mm -mm. Shrugs, baby. Pick up the heaviest weights you have. Let's do some shrugs. All right. Careful on the way down. So I want to make I want you I want to make sure that you not gripping the dumbbell. Okay. Just keep your fingers, your thumb, with your fingers like this. Okay. That ensures that you're not going to lift with your arms and then try to keep, see how my elbows are straight? See how my arms straight? Keep that arm straight and just use your traps. Good, hold at the top. Full range of motion, don't lean over. Your shoulders back, there you go. Um, Arnold press right. Yeah, so when you're holding on to the dumbbell, this is how you're gonna hold it, do not, grip it because then you're going to start using your forearms and you're not you're going to start using your shoulders you want this to be pure traps pure traps and sometimes it's difficult seeing that that exercise starts from way down right i'll, I'll talk about that later squeeze the glutes good nice Rotation, ooh, oh, jeez. Once again, down to the old 12.5. <laughs> Who would have thunk, oh, even that's tough. Ooh. Ooh. Good, nice and slow. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Good work, okay. Back to the shoulder shrugs. So again, because we're holding the dumbbell so low. Sometimes it's hard to, to focus on just the trap doing the movement, right? All these other muscles and want to help. We don't want that. 
So make sure you grip that in the end. I'm gonna give you another beautiful bodybuilding tip here with shrugs. Hold them down by your quads now, and then come up all the way down. Woo! Ooh. Ooh. Good. Now, if you have problems feeling it, go back to the holding them to your sides. There's a bit of bit better connection, but if you're a little advanced, ooh, you can get some serious trap work here. Ooh. Right? So when you wear your t-shirt or you wear that office shirt, when you have those traps coming up, you're not like round guy, no neck. All right, here we go. Single dumbbell chest press. The single row. So uh, I'm gonna have the 30s close by, just in case, but we're gonna start off with 40s back. So now we're focusing on single, unilateral movement. Good. Blast up. And remember, elbow at a 45 degree angle when it's down, okay? And press straight over your eyes. So that if you were to drop that dumbbell, it should drop right on your head and squish it. <laughs> like you're a zombie. Oh, jeez. Okay, focus, focus. Remember, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. You're letting that air out with that movement. Oh, Woo! Oh man. All right, rows. Single rows now. Heavy dumbbell row. All I got are the 40s here, so that's my heaviest weight right now. I have to recover here. I gotta recover. It's hot in here. It's very hot in here. And this shirt that I have on, not, uh, not forgiving. Single row. Same hand that you did the uh, chest press with. So, for me, that's my left. Yeah. Let it hang and then pull. And same thing with the tricep exercise. You want to row back, but elbows tight to the body. Don't flare those elbows out. All the way down, pull. Now we're getting that Christmas tree. The bottom, like Dorian Yates, his back was insane. Ah. Oh God. All right, just in time. Dorian Yates' back was unbelievable. Massive back. The tree trunk, Christmas tree is right down here. Right, that strong back. That's what, uh, that's what the rows do, the bent over rows. That's what we're trying to build. Nice solid back. I'm telling you guys, after you're done all these phases, you're gonna be a monster. I'm telling you. And not monster meaning big and puffy, but lean and strong. Muscular. You gotta put the work in. You gotta challenge yourself. You gotta connect the mind, connect your brain with what body part you wanna focus on. Right now, it's my left pack, my right pack. So I'm gonna go right pack. Now I start to feel it. My shoulder. Remember, press right above your eyes. Oh, Jesus, Murph Vyski. All right. Holy for moles, as my good friend Speedy Gonzalez would say. Holy free moles. Or free holes. Or free moles, I'm not sure, I can't remember. All right, right arm. Right arm. Back straight, post up, roll back by your hips, pull, pull. I'm gonna say pull back your hip by your hips. It's a better indication of what you want, what we want. It's a pull exercise. Bam, bam, let it hang and then pull back. Hang, pull back, hang, 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 hang. Oh. oh my God. Okay. Sumo squats. So for me, my adductors are very tight. 
I don't have a good range of motion when I do sumo squats. So everybody's sumo squats gonna be different. I'm gonna goblet this up, by the way. Like that's it for me right there, right now. But you wanna go wide, point those feet out, sit back, but some of us can't. So we just go as far as we can and make sure that we do more mobility work. Keep those knees pointed out. Oh. You can move faster. Don't worry about me. I'm just getting what I can done. But you wanna go, you wanna move a bit faster there. Dumbbell RDLs, okay. We're gonna do this a little different. We're gonna hold the dumbbells to our side when we do our RDL, okay? Not to the front. Oh, all right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So hip hinge here. Good. Down. Remember, kick the hips back first. Back straight, shoulders back. Down. So with this one, I'm keeping the dumbbell to the side. Hits that ham and the legs a little different. Ooh, good. It's like a lever, hinge. When I say hinge, stick the butt back first. Good. Back to the sumo, sumo squats. Ooh. Keep breathing, guys. Keep breathing. <laughs> like, oh, whoa! What's happening here? Funkster? Oh, too much protein. There it is. So for me, I just brought my legs in a little bit. Just a little bit, not too wide. So I can get a better range of motion, but make sure your knees are pointed out. Knees are pointed out. Don't let those things buckle. Good, and the further down you sit, the more you're gonna feel in your glutes, as well as your adductors. Man. Sometimes you feel, what's that nice exercise again? Oh, RDO. Sometimes when there's a muscle group that's, that you're weak in, your body has to overcompensate and use a little bit more energy. So even a simple movement like sumo squats takes my breath away. All right, here we go. RDLs. So keep holding these from the side. Keep your side. There it is. Here we go. Yeah. 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 This also allows you to go a little bit heavier too. Good. Down. Let's pause at the bottom. Pause. Good. Pause. Good. Pause. Good. Be very careful here. Slight bend in the knee. Yeah. Good. Head in a neutral position. Pause, 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 explode. So you pause for two, ready? One, two, explode, finish it up. Okay, hammer curls. We're gonna single hammer curl this one. Start with the left. And then we're gonna skull crusher with the left. It's so hot in here, man. Gee, Wilkers. Okay, 30s. Here we go. So again, a different movement. Elbows tight to the body. Squeeze those glutes, man. I'm telling you, it's the savior. Specifically when we have a unilateral movement. Really focus. Keep that core tight. Squeeze the glutes, shoulders back. Man, I don't want to put that weight down. Okay, I'm gonna use the same 30s. And we're gonna do sculpt crushers to using the left hand. Oh, this is like a, a faucet. 
The ultra shred really kicking in, man. Beta Alan and Ultra Shred. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. You gotta be very careful again with this one. You don't have that other dumbbell. Doesn't matter where this hand is, it can be out here, it can be over here. But you can. Ooh, I don't know if you can hear that. But that's the sound of oof. the poor shoulder. <laughs> Taking a beating. I may have to go lighter just so I can feel it more in my triceps. Cause right now the shoulder is, oh, I couldn't do that. So in that, in that instance, because my shoulder is taking all the brunt of the exercise, I wasn't feeling it in my tricep. So I may have to go a little bit lighter and go faster so that the shoulder isn't taking all that brunt so I can get the tricep to feel the exercise, right? Here we go. Ooh. Good. Remember glutes, squeeze them. Oh. Core tight, gotta keep that core tight during this movement. So you wanna try to keep that body straight as you can. What I like to do is I like to squeeze my glutes just as I'm doing the movement. Oh. But it also takes a lot of energy out of you. <laughs> All right, back down on the ground for an hour. I keep moving. <laughs> what a great joke. Flex and I have the joke. Oh, I'm so metabolic. <laughs> Things are all over the place. Same with Angela. Whenever we work out, my station's like insane. And I'm moving all over the place. Now I'm on the freaking tarp. I mean, <laughs> on the grass. Turf, that's the word I'm looking for. Use the area that you have, man. Good. Elbows pointed forward. Down, oof, oof, oof. Oh, wow, that almost smashed on my head there. But that's, that's why they call them skull crushers. That's why they call them skull crushers. All right, last superset. Oh my God. All right, we're going with single shoulder press. So this, this exercise, the way I have it is you can do a push press to go as heavy as you can. But again, I'm not gonna, I'm only gonna do what I can. So you can use that push press. A little explosive. Control on the way down too. Then if you go lighter, more strict, right? Just a strict press. Okay. We're doing high pulls right. Every workout that we do, we make sure that we break down that muscle so that it can get stronger. Every workout doesn't have to destroy you. Pull back, pull back. Watch your head. Good. So you can see my elbows are lower. Exhale on the way up. for that right now. Anyways, we're breaking down the muscle so that with our nutrition, with our supplementation, 
with our sleep and with our recovery, we can get stronger, bigger muscles. Oh yeah, this is the one that's not even gonna budge. Oh jeez. You guys do the same push press. And do not lean back. The only reason why I'm leaning back, again, is the shoulder. Oh, so you don't want to lean back. You just have to do that just to compensate. It's not the proper technique. Final exercise. High pull, all right. Focus, stay focused. Stay focused. Here we go. Pull back. Remember, you want real tight movements, okay? It shouldn't be all over the place. Everything should be tight. Core tight, glutes tight. Pull back. Here we go. Let's finish. Let's finish. Keep going. Good work. Oh man, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Wow. Total body, super set. Give me some knucks. Give me some knucks. Good work. All right, grab some water, towel off, depending on how sweaty you are. And I want you to focus on that ab workout. So do the ab workout and then make sure you have some protein, BCAAs in the water, down that, shower, and then get that meal in, right? Full meal to replenish the glycogen stores that we just lost to feed the muscles so that they can recover and to give you the energy to continue along your day. I'm the Funkster. Thanks so much for working out with me and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done. Hey, hey.